Well, good morning. Good morning. Nice to meet you, Christina. I'm Shauna with Mouse Info. Hello. And uh, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing great, thank you. How about you? Good, I'm well, thank you. I would like to ask you a couple questions, if okay. you don't mind. Please, yeah. What are some of your new offerings? So this for year. The, holi the holiday times, Halloween right now, we have Jack's Coffin Cake. That one Ooh. is um, special for a, a French Market, which is right beside the Haunted Mansion. So uh, a little uh, homage to uh, Jack. So he's taking over Haunted Mansion. Very he nice. He has his own little coffin cake. We have a demi toss, which is um, in a little Minnie Mouse uh, ceramic cup that you get to keep when you buy the dessert. Cute! Yes, yeah, so it's a little keepsake. Um, we're going to have one for Christmas as well, so we have it for different seasons. Ooh, very um, cool. It's a flourless chocolate cake on the bottom with a pumpkin mousse and dark chocolate mousse swirled on the top. Very tasty. It's one of my Delicious. favorites. Delicious. Ooh, okay. And then we have our um, um, holiday time um, cupcake. It is a pumpkin cupcake with dark chocolate mousse and it has um, a little couple of worms in there for some fun, like Oogie Boogie style. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I love Oogie Boogie. Uh, so true. He's one of my favorite characters. <laughs> I think he's, he's a fun one. Yes, for Halloween, then, he's wonderful. And then we have a couple of mixed cookies, um, Mickey, um, Mickey Bat cookie, and then we have a gingerbread zombie cookie. Ooh, I like that one too, yes, gingerbread yes, zombie. Fun, yes. Very nice. You know, how many different food options do you like to have for Halloween time at each restaurant? Oh, it, it depends on the restaurant. Like if it's a fast, if, if it's like a quick service restaurant that you want to get ca um, guests in and out, or if you want a table service, probably um, two to three. It depends okay. on oh, how much you, how much your cast can actually do b behind the stage. That makes sense. Lovely. Um, do you have a favorite you were mentioning? Oh, oh, the desserts. Yes. You know, I, I'd have to go with the coffin cake. It's really? So good. Okay. It's, it's a white chocolate mousse that we make scratch, and it has Oreo pieces in there. Ooh, that does sound good. I love Oreo. Um, okay, and I, I have a question for you. Um, there's been some debate among our Mouse Info followers about between the pumpkin fritters and the pumpkin beignets. <laughs> Which one's better? What's oh, your opinion? Well, I make the pumpkin beignets. Oh, the okay. Contest. Yay! <laughs> um, it, it's just a different way how you handle the dough, but okay. I'd say the pumpkin beignets. Okay. Definitely. Sounds good. Um, and do any of these recipes, would they be easy to make at home? Um, so some of them, yes, yeah. Okay. Uh, the, the, the pumpkin beignets actually is an at-home recipe. It's, it Ooh. should be on the blog for you guys very Perfect. soon. Perfect. So, yeah, Yay. so fun for that. Um, but, yeah, uh, all of them are pretty reasonable, and especially if you just have fun with it. Just go to your local um, hardware store, look for a hobby store, and then just have some fun with the tips and different things. You can make anything. Sounds good. Delicious. Mm -hmm. So these are the pumpkin beignets you yes. have here? Yes. So these are the pumpkin beignets. So beignet, basically the word fried dough. Okay. So it starts out as a yeast dough. So it actually has yeast in here. So um, when you have anything with yeast, it's, you're going to you're gonna have to have it proofed. That basically put it in a warm spot and just leave it alone. Okay. And then that yeast is going to live and grow and proof really nice and pretty. And what's special about this dough is we're going to deep fry it. Ooh! <laughs> Which makes anything tasty. Yeah, that makes everything better, right? So good. <laughs> and then we're just going to put it in and deep fry it. It's anywhere from, depends on how thick you roll it and you cut it, but for the most part, two to three minutes each side until it's nice, golden, puffy, and it's beautiful. Okay. And it will turn out like this. Ooh. That's what the Benito is similar for, that it puffs, and the inside's a little bit on the hollow side, but still chewy in some parts. Sounds delicious. Yes. And see, you're giving us the tips right now here for anybody who would like to make this at home. Oh, definitely, yeah. yes. Uh, you finish it off, traditionally you finish it off with um, powdered sugar. You can do anything from cinnamon sugar, basically anything you want, or you can um, just leave it like that. Um, beignets can actually even be a savory dish if you want. Really? Uh-huh, um, because how, it's really not that? that sweet. The, um, the, the sweetness comes from the topping that you, or the dip sauce that you give it to. Oh, So it's kind okay. of a very neutral. This one has um, pumpkin flavor, okay. so you'll get that uh, cinnamon, the clove, the, gar um, the um, cinnamon cloves. Sounds so, delicious. Would you like to finish it off? Sure, yeah, I would love to. Ahead. So, okay, you just take some of the powdered sugar and... Uh-huh, and you just go your other hand. I just hit there it. There you go. Together. <laughs> okay, there we go. Teamwork. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. Would you like to taste? Yes, I would love to. Please not. This is a creme anglaise. So it's a vanilla sauce for you if you like to dip. Please. Absolutely. That sounds amazing. I, I like our creme anglaise. Okay, let's see. Mm. 
Mm. Are you missing the pumpkin fritter? Mm, no, not mm -hmm. at the moment. Mm -mm. <laughs> this is delicious. Good. Thank you so much. This is wonderful. It looks like you have some amazing treats for us this Halloween time. We try every year. <laughs> Thank you. You succeed wildly. Thank you. It's been very nice to see you. Great meeting you. Thank you.